Good evening. I'm the Doc Justifier, and I'm here to tell you that Democrats have been confirmed necromancers. They look to bring FDR back from the dead so that he may come forth and save this world from Trump in a one-on-one, president-to-president battle that will save the world from his tyranny, from his Nazism, from his Trumptastic vision on the world that he wishes to create. Today, I, I'm the Dark Justifier, and I'm here to introduce you to the Bill. Well, maybe not Bill. This is an old uh, Franklin Theodore Roosevelt tactic to pack in Congress with as many people as they can. So let's read together on CNN politics what they wish to do. Republicans have been successfully leveraging the Supreme Court balance of, ma- of power as a major campaign issue to re- ignite their base since the 1980s. For Democrats, the 2020 election may mark the first in modern times that they will unite around the high court as a driving force in a presidential election. Democratic candidates are increasingly ad- advocating court packing, that is, upping the number of Supreme Court justices to balance the bench to ins- or ensure a liberal majority. The idea is unlikely to succeed for historical and po- practical reasons, but in resonance on the campaign trail reflects Democrats' new emphasis on judiciary, on the judiciary during the t- Trump era. Why wouldn't it succeed if they got a president in 2021? I mean, the whole reason FDR was going to do it in the first place wasn't because it was because there's no law against it. He got backlash, and right now they don't care about backlash. They don't give two craps about backlash. They get a lot of backlash. And they ignore it. They don't care. So I don't see this affecting them very much if they really wanted to. But they need a president in office, and I'm really hoping we completely destroy their ability to do so. I think there should be a small rule on the limit of how many Supreme Court justices there can be, because if any individual, um, like the Green Party, jumps in, and finally gets nominated for the presidency, then the Green Party could just fill up all the seats with with as many people as they want, and that would cause problems. So I think maybe they should enact a law. But anyways, the issue emerges partly from lingering anger over Republican-led Senate's 2016 stall of President Barack Obama's nominee Merrick Garland, a fire stoked this week when Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said if a Supreme Court vacancy occurred in 2020 election year, he would confirm a Trump nominee. We'll read that in a minute. McConnell's comments were an audacious reversal of his 2016 electric year position, blocking Garland for the vacancy caused by the sudden death of February of Justice Antonin Scalia. McConnell argued that the seat should be filled by whoever won the then upcoming presidential election. Also drawing Democratic attention to his to who sits in the nine black leather chairs, the high court has been a recent enactment in states of new new abortion bans. The fate of those restrictions would eventually be decided by the Supreme Court, now featuring four liberals and, with Brett Kavanaugh replacing the retired Anthony Kennedy last year. Five solid conservatives. That's true. Everyone's been worried about, will the Supreme Court overturn Roe v. Wade? California Democratic Sin Kamala Harris told a Los Angeles audience earlier this month. Harris said she was open to adding more justices. I think it's a conversation that we need to have. I'm open to increasing the number of, uh, numbers on the Supreme Court, she said, responding to a woman who asked about enlarging the court and prefaced her question with a complaint that McConnell stole a Supreme Court seat. It's not stealing. I don't see how this is stealing. How did he steal the seat? Multiple people would have to agree to, to sit the, person, the current sit, sitting person down. So it wouldn't be al- him alone who would steal the seat. Maybe because he convinced others. I don't know. But, you know, Kavanaugh got a crap ton of um, uh, police checking him out, you know? Uh, they, they they were, um, they took his life, strung it out on a table, and went through every little piece of it to try and find a reason not to allow him to be where he is now. I mean... I didn't like Kavanaugh because of what everybody said about him. And then after I found out, they literally tore his life apart just to find something and found nothing. He's squeaky clean. There's nothing wrong with him. I don't really know why people keep getting angry at him. 
he seems like a decent character. He and it seems like the the most they did was make an enemy out of him, out of a man who could have been highly, very much been a moderate if they had been nice to him. You know, uh, you don't torture the people you want to tell you information or to help you. You take him on a roller coaster. You take him out to dinner. You have fun with him. You know, all throughout history, whenever people switch the tactics from torturing to um, pleasing the person they're trying to get information from. Make them love your country more than they love their country, and suddenly you're getting a, a lot of information. You take a Russian um, spy out into the American country and show him. Well, this is back during the um, the Red Scare. You take a Russian spy out and show him on a, on a roller coaster ride or some delicious food or a grocery store and tell him he can have whatever he wants. Do that enough, eventually he's going to tell you everything you want to know to stay here. And just the same, you want Kavanaugh to agree to your side you don't torture him you don't tear his life apart you make him love your party more than he, he loves his it feels like they're trying to lose lately they're not trying to you know you use honey to attract you use honey to attract humans not vinegar people use i'm saying humans because flies are more attracted to vinegar than honey but anyways they're really destroying their own party by doing all this crap, current crap, and by trying to do this, what they try to do with, with FDR, it's a terrible, terrible, terrible idea that's going to tear their party apart eventually. I just, I don't see any of this working out, and if they add that many seats, then when those people, die, it's going to take... 80 years to remove the people in those seats but when it happens in 80 years they're not looking to the future in 80 years there's going to be it's it's going to be the same exact problem every single time no matter how many people are in the seats i mean if there's like two people then yeah it's a 50 50 but if there's the difference between 12 and 36 people is it's going to take longer to replace the people in the seats in the first place i don't know I don't know if there's a fix for this, for that, for that problem. If they open that can of worms, I can't really think of anything besides removing justices, which you cannot do, unless you pull out a guillotine. Actually, no. Yeah, you you could remove them if you pull out a guillotine, but I don't like to advocate for violence, and I don't think anybody on on the seats deserve a guillotine just yet. I don't know. I don't know their history or what they've done with their lives. But anyways. That's enough of that. That's enough political talk for now. I've been Dark Justifier, and this has been political discourse, I guess I'll call it. Thanks for, if you are watching, thanks for watching, and welcome to the exit row.